Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Selesnia cats to kick off our donation day here on this fine Wednesday afternoon. You can see here we got four donation decks over here to play today. And this is our first one. We have a Selesnia deck that's built around kitty cats. We have Lean and Vanguard, a Johnny's Pride Mate, and Pouncing Lynx. We got all these uh, cats here. And to try to help them out, we have a 1-1 one, one counter sub-theme with uh, the a Johnny that can put counters on our creatures. Unbreakable Formation can put some counters on creatures. The third chapter of Song of Fraley's does as well. And then at, and I guess like this Ajani does as well. And then we can try to proliferate those with the Huatli's Raptors and make them bigger and everything. Um, and we have Karn's Bastion also to help our proliferate sub-theme here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we kind of have here. Uh, there's not very many good cats in Standard. Uh, as you can tell, we're playing cards like like Pouncing Links, and, and there's just not even a whole lot of cats in the deck. We're kind of filling them out with, filling the deck out with the cards like Militia, Bugler, Venerate, Luxodon to put some counters on our creatures there. Um, so there's not, there's not like a ton of great cats in standard. So we're working with what we have. And, um, and yeah, this is what we have. I am, I'm kind of worried about how little creatures we have in the deck. Because it doesn't seem like very many. Uh, let's see what do we have. Twenty. So we have twenty-three. Um, so Bugler has like these four creatures don't hit it. So there's only nineteen. And then if you're playing a Bugler, there's only eighteen Bugler hits. I'm pretty worried about that. Worried about having hands of like just like some lands and some sheltering lights and Song of Frailies and Unbreakable Formation and just not not having creatures. But we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, Arcbo doesn't have a lot of great targets here. But yeah, we need we need to play some games here and um, and see how it goes. I love Lean and War Leader. This card is awesome, um, very powerful. I think this is a really good card to put in end step with an arc bow where you can untap and then start attacking with it and putting a bunch more cats into play. That sounds pretty sweet. Um, so that's what we're gonna try to do here. And yeah, we'll see we'll see if we can get some wins with some kitty cats. So we'll go over to the traditional constructed cues with our donation decks today. And play them here. We'll play till we win five or lose two. Mm -hmm. Um Hawkeye is asleep up on the bed. That's where he's at. That's where he's at. So we got the a Johnny Avatar to go with our cat deck. All right, I like this opener with the Vanguard into Pride Mate. Hello. So we got to have a, a third creature out to trigger the lean. You know, we need three creatures to trigger lean and vanguard so we could start gaining a life every combat step. Oh, no. Steamkin. Okay. That's the third creature. That one works. Definitely love Venerate Luxodon in this, this list. Venerate Luxodon is just a very strong card. Really like this one. Hawkeye's a he. He's a boy. Wow. We are getting some pretty good rips here. They playing ionize. That's lame. Still hitting hard. All right. 
<laughs> cats riding an elephant. All right, so they're a counter burn deck. So counter burn deck, I think I'd want Shalai for, you know, the burn part. Um, I guess we don't have removal for Steamkin in this list. Ixalan's binding at four mana, it doesn't really count. So hopefully they don't go crazy with Steamkin. So I'm guessing I want Shalai and Tristani. And that's it. And I'm going to trim. So I want to trim like the the spells somewhere. So like Unbreakable Formation, Song of Fraley's, Arcbow, Sheltering Light, that kind of stuff. We did just put in two fours, two fours and two fives though. It does raise our curve quite a bit. And so taking out Song of Fraley's could definitely hurt. All right, I'm 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 not going to bring in the Tristanis, actually. Let's just bring in the two Shalais, cut one Unbreakable Formation, one Song of Fraley's. Let's just do that. All right, what we got? All right, all right. I think we can try this out. This isn't going to be as good as our last hand. Uh, without, you know, we don't get to turn one, the lean and Vanguard. But we can try this out. Ooh, Augur Bolas, that's nice. Hmm. I'll go with the Pouncing Links here because it's not, you know, it's just not very good against Augur Bolas. But if they're going to use a burn spell on something, I'd rather it be that. And I was thinking maybe, maybe they tap out or something and we, we can play both of these things like back to back. Uh, we're still going to play both of those, but we'll see if we get, see if this pride make gets burned. Hopefully not. No. Oh no. I don't think the Raptor is going to do a whole lot for us uh, unless we get counters on stuff. Drawn both of our two cyborg cards that we brought in, which is good, but we don't have the fourth land to play them. So I'm just doing this. The formation plus the raptor is, is a really nice combination. I 
That Augur of Bolas is getting our opponent a whole lot of value. So the Augur found a Rouse Outburst that found something else. I think that Rouse Storm Conduit. Like think that's the spot where that card was. You're welcome to try. And also killed Storms one of my creatures. Like and and have, can conductor. attack through it. Don't think we're winning this game. I can't. I can't really see us winning this game in any scenario. But we'll see what to do. With game three. So maybe I need to be worried about Ral combo. Definitely with like Rekindling Phoenix and even Ral, but certainly with Rekindling Phoenix makes me want to play Exalon's Binding. Good game. No, you need you need two expansions with Ral for the combo. There's just too many fours. Hmm. Is that still technically only nine cards that cost four? You know, like looking at our curve thing. Like, yes, our our fours are. We do have a ton of fours, but it's it's not obscene. We don't really need a spyglass for Rao. I like they. We don't know how many Rao's they have. We have Ixalan's binding. They can get rid of it. Spyglass doesn't really stop Ral that much because like the the two activate abilities with Ral aren't even aren't like spectacular anyway the it's the static ability on Ral that's that's like the best part of the card you don't need you don't need to play spyglass to try to stop Ral all right no shock that's good Let's just cost more mana than the Lynx, so we'll play that. Ooh. Um. <laughs> Alright, no Augur Bolas. It's made this a lot better for us. Can def definitely see uh, an ionize here. I'll just let them ionize this pride mate. No ionize. That's perfectly fine. I think it was only going to be a 2 2. Bouncing Lynx is pretty cool. First strike. I'll 
I'll take that. First strike on our turn. Just please don't kill my Johnny here. I want to put a counter on the Militia Bugler too. Ideally. But of course, if they do kill a Johnny, that's like probably by attacking with Phoenix and having a burn spell, then, you know, we have a lot of damage coming through here. So I really like where we're at. Lash out all you want. All right, so we're going to have one of these die. I'll have the 3-2 the Pouncing Links die. Basically, we have to let one of them die. We can save one. Well, no, maybe I'll let the... No, actually, I'll probably save the Pouncing Links because it's going to be four power. That's going to be three power. Capable of more than you assume. All right, we got them down to two. Yeah, plus we gotta save the cat. Uh, yeah, that, that shouldn't even been a question. We gotta save the cat. We're playing the cat's deck. I was not strong enough. Gotta save the kitty cats. All right, got a match. Um, this is a Johnny, a Johnny adversary of tyrants, was awesome. There, that game. Yeah, that was a close, a close one there. Ended up getting it. All right, so starting off one and zero with the little kitty cats. I kind of wish that this deck had more. Like, I wish I pushed the one one counter thing more. I wish there was like more cards to put one one counters on stuff, with like these proliferate cards. There's more creatures and more 1-1 one -one counters. Like I've, I like Venerate Luxidon a bunch. Kind of feel like we should have a fourth one of those. Because we've got to have like that 1-1 one -one counter stuff before these Wally's Raptors really do anything. Maybe just more of Johnny's. Uh, there's not really any cat synergies, no. It was a that was my the donation deck that was given to me was was the cat deck. This is for somebody who's a, a real big fan of cats. He likes cats quite a bit. Is this, is this mono blue? I 
With all the Command the Dreadhorde decks around, do you think a Jund version could be viable? Well, yeah. Why... But why would red possibly be better than blue-white? Like, what does red give you that's better than Teferi? And I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't. I don't know why you would. Why you'd want to play red instead of blue and white. Who helm of the host on charm stray? <laughs> Hey, Joe Bags. Good afternoon. I need to have... <clears throat> I need to have full control on, because I probably should have cast this in response to that. In, respo in response to this third chapter i guess it d wouldn't have the third chapter anymore i don't know when i need to respond to that i don't really want to get this let's go let's just go with this i don't really want this to be uh spell pierced So they got to dive down so they get to save four life. Of course, we don't have to worry about our creatures dying. They're indestructible this turn, thanks to the Song of Freilies. So th thankfully, the cat won't die. I do not, Joe Bags. Let's start with this. Won't get spell pierce, but they can counter it with whatever else. Wow. No counter spell? That's annoying. <clears throat> so my plan, you know, these creatures have Vigilance, so my plan was just to attack with the three, and then uh, second main Luxodon. But we don't get to lux it on anymore. And they had another dive down to eat my creature. I think I'm still pouncing in here. Do they have yet another dive down? Don't have a third dive down, please. Oh my gosh. Tempest Shin just don't, won't die. Of 
course, the Pouncing Links had first strike, so it wasn't I wasn't even attacking to trade. Okay. Got that one. Let's get all these harpooners in. And I guess Arcbow is just awesome against Mono Blue because how they try to counter everything. So we'll play the other Arcbow. I think I get rid of Sheltering Light. Yeah. And... Hmm. I think I need to keep getting rid of non-creatures. So I think it's just Song of Freilies. We have Arcbow instead. I want to keep these Ajani's, but I, I could I could see taking out the Ajani's though too. But Ajani's just so strong. I guess. We could just go Shalai Tristani instead of... No, Tristani's not any good in this matchup. We could go Shalai instead of one of these Ajani's. Basically trying to make like Spell Pierce worse. And of course Shalai's a flyer. And we can put Shalai into play and some speed with Arcbow. But which Ajani is worse? I think this one. This one gets to gain loyalty while making our creatures bigger. Maybe I should be playing Vivian instead of the Ajani also. With Vivian giving our creatures reach. You know, playing them at instant speed. Both of those are valuable traits against Mono Blue. All right, but we'll see if Arcbow resolves or not. <laughs> After this many dive downs, it should, should probably drown. Charter course, nope. I really don't want the Arcbow to get countered, so I want to try to bait counter spells with something else, something else first. I'm thinking double spelling this turn. Come on, come on. Yeah. We did it. Now we got all the we got their counter spells covered. We don't have to cast spells anymore. I'm probably ditching these cards. Yeah, Arcbow is so good against Mono Blue. Now we just gotta find like our other Shalai. We need to find our uh, Harpooners. So we're gonna be looking for. Oh no. No. Hmm. 
So I could resolve Arcbow and Pride Mate, or just resolve Shalai. I'll just resolve Shalai here. I mean, I, I love Arcbow against them, of course, but we are a little behind. We are at 10. We probably should just have the Shalai play defense. See if they drew spell pierce, I, I could lead, I would have led with the Arcbow and play around spell pierce, and you know if they had the two mana. All right, so they were really worried about Arcbow. Ugh. So Karn's Bastion is five total mana, if you think like four plus tapping it. So once I activate Shalai once for six mana, then instead of act then instead of spending six mana to continue to activate Shalai, it's it only costs five mana with Karn's Bastion. And with Mono Blue doing chip damage relatively, the Vanguard gaining us that life every turn is gonna be nice. There could be like another trickster here to tap the Shalai. I, I don't want to like attack for four with Pride Mate and then like have like those other attackers coming back at me because I, I definitely don't want to block with the Lean and Vanguard. All right, but now, now the leading vanguard can kill a trickster, like a trickster that's attacking. So now let's start getting this damage going. <laughs> hey, Celtic's banner. Yeah, we're playing a meow meow deck. Meow meows.
<laughs> Shalai means cat in German. Shalai is just the angel of the cats. Oketra Heartless Summoning. That that is a pretty sweet modern deck. Yeah, Oketra Heartless Summoning. Yeah, that could be pretty sweet. And shall I so good? Okatra. <laughs> yeah, I could have Okatra in this deck. No. Lame. All right, the cats are two and O. Oh. We are two and O oh with Selesnya cats. I have to admit, I was a little skeptical looking at the list and everything here, but it's working. It's working. OP kitty cats. Yeah, yeah, if Vivian's Arcbow, that's true. If Vivian's Arcbow is sorcery speed, it would be much, much worse. Yeah, being instant speed um, makes combat, like, impossible for people trying to attack in when you have an Arcbow available. And... Hmm. Well, if we just draw three lands in a row, and we got turn two creature, turn three creature, and then a Johnny, a Johnny. You're not a land. Go to the bottom, please. I guess this Ajani with the Raptor is a pretty cool synergy too. Of like, bring this Raptor back from your graveyard. Uh, then proliferate and put the counter back on the Ajani. Um. It's unfortunate we got a shock there. I don't really want to play Pouncing Links and get a Chain World, but I guess we can't, we're can't. we not really beating Chain Whirler at all, though, to be honest. But uh, I'll trade this for the Pyromancer and Chain Whirler. Or a shock. Oh, we get two spells from them for our one card. That's That's worth it. Yeah, 
Meow. Yeah, yeah, we probably should have Oketra, shouldn't we? Because it is a cat god. Come on, draw land. Draw land. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Get us this land. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Gain three life. Much greater. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit back and block this lava runner. Just gain three life every turn. It's a good way to beat Mono Red, especially to beat Risk Factor in particular. Oh, it has Vigilance. Right, I forgot about that Vigilance part. Whoops. Oh well. So they could be at 18. I want to try to make this pride main ship ensures our victory. We still need you. Like next turn, be able to play pride mate, gain three life, put a counter on it, now and then also put a the counter on it with a Johnny and make it a four four right away. We did it! Mold a five. A Johnny. The Lord of the Cats. Too good. What's up, Frisky Biscuits? Yeah, we got another cat deck. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have Baffling Ends. I feel like that's that's definitely a card that, that we're missing in our sideboard, is just playing a bunch of Baffling Ends. We'll see how we do. Without them, we got these Chalais Tristanis coming in. I guess I cut... I guess I cut War Leader. Because our curve's just kind of too high. I could cut this. I could trim one of those at Johnny's. We'll do that. And then uh, what are we doing over here? Pouncing links being 2-1 is not spectacular, but... Oh, I'm definitely taking out one arc bow. And <clears throat> I'm going to take out one Unbreakable Formation and a Song of Freilies. They usually like kill your creatures right away anyway, so this Unbreakable Formation is not very reliable at all. Honestly, I should probably be taking them out completely. I'll do that. I'm just going to play some Mixed Bindings. Those are good against red also. Yeah, I could see Binding being Baffling End or also like these Spy Glasses. There's... There's too many spy glasses in here. Get some baffling ends instead. So best card in our deck. And a whole bunch of nothing. So we're on the draw. We we have our three draw steps. Do we rely on like hoping to draw like two drops, three drops, stuff like that? And we can curve out into this best card in our deck? <clears throat> Or do we send it back? What do y'all think? You draw for it? You mean keep it? I think I'm gonna mulligan. Looks like we're going to five again. So 
So I don't know. Our, we have a whole lot of fours and everything. We're going to want a fourth land. Okay. I'm glad we still have a fourth land. So I was considering keeping that card on top, but obviously besides the, the binding, we don't really have other things to do, and that's probably more important is looking for cards to play. So I went ahead and ditched it. Can't gain life. It's not the worst thing for us to see. We honestly don't have that much life gain in our deck. <laughs> That's something, though. As far as... As far as a, a Johnny's Pride Mate deck, we probably have like the least amount of life gain <laughs> I adore we can have. Enthusiasm. I'm gonna be. I want to binding the Steamkin. That's that's my plan. Is have Ixlon's binding on the Steamkin. Only three cards left. Alright, only two cards left. Oh, it's the wrong deck in the deckless command? Sorry, my bad. One second. All right, there we go. Command has been updated. spells are coils too where we can't get them back with a Johnny that's certainly unfortunate Wow great draw they can't have any more lava coils right no more lava coils So this Ajani will give my Shalai vigilance. I will teach you humility if I must. So I can attack the Tibalt with vigilance. Still stay back on defense. And be able to gain life. See the benefits of peace. Yeah, I haven't seen too much Lightning Mirror myself either. That's not one you see very often. So it costs two mana to pump. So it could be a 5-1. Mm, just pumping it before attacking. I 
and then just conceding. All right. We were going to be in a good spot. I wasn't going to block that with Shalai. Um, but I guess they could have sent all three of their creatures at a Johnny, and I block one of the others, and then a Johnny's dead. But then we're going to play our other a Johnny and start pumping Shalai. Keep it. We got two cats, two lands, two cats, and two bows. Please don't Chain Whirler. Tilt. All right, well this mono red opponent is putting up a lot better fight. I don't want to shock. I don't really want to just throw this out there without being able to gain life first. Well, maybe, maybe I'm just supposed to shock and have Pride Mate plus Sheltering Light and let, have them use two burn spells. Yeah, Mono Red's still a thing. Yeah, this opponent has a lot better hand than our our previous mono red opponent. Didn't have very good hands. Didn't put up much of a fight. They were really relying on risk factor, and risk factor doesn't match up too well against this Ajani. Well, so does this. So does this one, but they are way more ahead right now, though. Can't get out of this. Yeah, Mono Red's certainly one of the best decks in, in best of three. Not, not every deck can just easily sideboard against Mono Red, <clears throat> and even if that's that's the case, they Mono Red still wins game one a very large percentage of the time, and then if you win game one, all you have to do is you know winning one out of two games, even if you're an underdog, is not very difficult statistically. So I said trimming one of those Ajani's, trimming an arc bow, getting rid of this unbreakable formation, and getting rid of a song of Fraley's. Yeah, it's very straightforward, but it's. It's a good deck. All 
Alright, so basically I like our hand if we hit some land drops, so I'm gonna try keeping it. Come on, deck, you can do it. Two more land drops. I have no idea what the point of just throwing a shock at, at us like that was, though. Alright, only one land in those four. That's good. And, of course, Bugler replacing itself is good, too. take the 2-3 two, instead of the 2-2. Two, two. For 2 mana. We do need to draw lands, though. Struggling. Is it worth it to play the new Karn in a chromatic black deck, or isn't worth it because of Masterminds? I'd probably say the second. Probably not worth it with Masterminds. It it really depends on if if you really like the artifact. Um, something you want to have a good amount of artifacts in your sideboard, which I don't, I don't think that that's necessarily the best option. Just have a sideboard full of artifacts. So I'm saying it's probably not worth it. Um. Okay, here we go. Hey, what's up, Yad? Yep. Doing both of them. <clears throat> we got four donation decks for today. Us down to three or puts us down to one but we could be much greater to 
We're back at four. We need them to brick for a turn, please. I guess we're at six now. Because of the war leader. My favorite Planeswalker lore-wise. So I'm not sure, but a Johnny's probably up there. A Johnny's a really good one. Um, I like Huatli too. Hanging out with dinosaurs. I think we got this game. Yeah, we got now this game. Do you see the benefits of peace? Hey, what's up, Doom Waffle? Those are the two that just come to mind immediately. Watley hanging out with dinosaurs. I guess I don't really know too much about a Johnny story. I just like cats. And so therefore I like a Johnny. But I don't know much about his story. We didn't have like the the biggest reason to win that game, but we pulled it out somehow. Dinosaurs count as an SUV? What's an SUV? Oh. Okay, never mind. It'd be nice to feel Okay, never mind, sorry. I sorry, I had a different message there, and so I, I missed that part of the conversation. But yeah, if you're Hawali, you get to ride dinosaurs to the store. I see what you're saying, and then... I gotcha. Yeah, Hawali's sweet. Uh, why does it have to be turn three chain whirler all the time? Always turn three chain whirler. He's gonna be able to lux it on the next turn, make those things bigger. But yeah, both these games, game one and game three that we're losing are like turn three chain whirler on the play and we don't have any baffling ends. It's a... Dang. Will A really quality hand for the from them. Very quality hand. All right, three and one. Still, we're doing just fine. Maybe we get lucky, win this, go to the final boss. All right, good opener. Get like two more lands. If we can go links, 
Bugler, War Leader, then Formation. This mono red for the third time in a row. Yeah, we won the, the previous game. Yeah. This is mono red splash green for like cinder vines in the sideboard. Oh, come on. This is why we need removal spells. <laughs> we got to just take out Chain Whirler. Got to. Because just having creatures to block isn't isn't good against the burn deck that just has all this removal. As you can tell. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna need to. We're probably gonna need to turn on full control. I would think. That's what I got. You're a little late, sheltering light. Hey, Vanguru. Let's cry. That ah, doesn't really do anything right now. <laughs> There's another one. All right, we're so close. We need our opponent to just draw that eighth land. That's all we need. Can I just draw eighth land. So the full control just allowed, just meant that that, that proliferate counter just didn't resolve right away. Let me respond to my own counter. All right, GGs. Got there. Shalai, Tristani. Take out an Anjani. Let's get a couple more harpooners in here. Actually, just want more creatures to block with. Yeah, I want some more creatures to block with. And this this deck unlike 
Unlike like the other Arcbow decks that I have that have, I mean, it does have a couple Shalai's, but it has like a bunch of Lyra Dawnbringers. Also, and and cards like that, I, and like better defense and everything to make the game go a little longer. This, this deck doesn't really have that, so I'm gonna just take out the Arcbows. How these games have been played out, I, I just don't think we have time for Arcbow. <clears throat> I'm not playing this Lynx. I'm not going to have two creatures die to Chain Whirler here. So pay two life to gain a life. Very dead. I guess I need to play the Raptor here, or I need to block with the Raptor on the Steamkin right here so they can't just. If I don't block, they just get to use their mana second main phase to play this other Chain Whirler. So we'll be on the play for game three. I'm sorry, pouncing links. We got to We got to take you out. Canto Cody. Yeah. Yeah, glad you're liking the Nine Feather deck. I really like that deck too. Hey, Zerf. Yeah, Seal Away could be a good one. Also, we have to have two mana interaction in this deck, though. That's that's something that I think was a little bit of an oversight. We just we gotta gotta have some interaction. <laughs> We don't have anything to play next turn either, so let's just wait and have Pride Mate plus Sheltering Light. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna do that. Is it just Steamkin into Chain Whirler yet again? Not a bad card. No, we don't. No, we don't need it. Ooh. Surprise, that was like their only play this turn.
Uh, so they did have the chain roller, but went, went for the shock instead. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a great one. That one's perfect. That goes with the pride mate perfectly. Oh, wait. This didn't work. Oh, no, that didn't work. All right, should have played Beagler. Should have played Luxodon. I don't know why I thought I had one more man and I was going to be able to Luxodon after playing Bugler. Yep, now that now this dies. Really should have gone that and then Luxodon. That didn't work. Whoops. Now, maximum punish. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, so everything's attacking. It's gonna be a three, three, three if they cast two things. All right, let's see if we can pick this up still. I don't really like minusing the Ajani. It makes Ajani really vulnerable. Not ideal. That's not ideal.
Please don't swear in the chat. Please don't. Oh yeah, I always forget about the creatures gaining vigilance. I could have attacked with this harpooner also. That's true. A familiar taste, but one that grows no sweeter. Keep forgetting about that. Hey, Narnan. Yeah, the Whirly Boys are so good, especially against this deck that doesn't have any removal for him. I knew you needed can't. my help. There's no problem. Fire you just can't. You can't play a deck with no removal like this. Like it's just not. This is not a thing. So we have like the way to kill Chandra with the Shalai. I want to have, I would just want to have more good blockers for Chain Whirler though. And then hopefully play Shalai next turn. And cause I'm not, I'm not blocking with Shalai of course. Hey Fred, doing well. Oh no. This is just going to be bad for you. That's game. They can't, they just can't whiff as many times they need to whiff here. Just not possible. Let's see what we got. Together, we are unstoppable. Definitely need to get a counter on this Shalai, get it bigger. Strength is born of struggle. Yeah, Knight of Autumn's our other sideboard card that we're that we don't have that we're missing. The only thing to fear is well. Sit back and watch it burn. The more, the messier. Okay. Now we're actually doing something. <laughs> now 
Now we're actually doing something. So Frenzy... So this is rough. Like, we need to take Frenzy. But I also just want to get this Phoenix out of here. Getting Phoenix out of here... Like, if we take Phoenix, that means we kill Chandra also. Yeah, which I guess we need to do that. Otherwise, Chandra just exiles seven cards and, and we're dead. I guess Chandra doesn't have to. Chandra doesn't have to kill herself because she could kill Tabalt. All right, that's it. Whatever. Figure it out on your own. But that's still fine. That's not Chandra ultimating, at least. Land, good. Now another land right there. That? that was another land. Now another land right oh, there. It's you burning. <laughs> oh no, not it's not a land. Yeah, it's fine. You can get one burn spell, but that's it. No more burn spells. Now a land. Okay. No shock. All right, no shock. Wow. What do I want a binding? Again. They may just have another frenzy. I kind of want to just hold the, the binding, honestly. Guess you don't need me anymore. I'm going to hold the binding. Just activate this Karn's Bastion here. I'm the best fire starter there is. This is just going to be bad for you. They're doing all, you know, like they keep on counting. I I don't even know if their attacks are very good. I guess not. I haven't really focused on whether or not their attacks are good. I guess they aren't. Wow. Yeah, we we were gonna act, yeah we were gonna Karn's Bastion there and increase Shalai's toughness. 
All right, the kitty cats are four and one. Final boss, the catnip. Yeah, what a heck of yeah, that was a heck of a comeback. I didn't think we were winning that one at all. I really didn't. <laughs> I never had a doubt. All right, final boss playlist. Because we are at the final boss here for the kitty cats. Yeah, this is the Final Fantasy VII boss music. All right, pretty nice looking hands. One drop, two drop, three drop. Shocked in there, it's likely for opt, but you know, they could have like shock and opt. I don't know if they'll think the lean and vanguard is worthy of a shock or not. Hey, what's up, Le Periton? Welcome. So just guy super friends. <laughs> Sloppy technique. That's gonna be tough for us to beat without being able to play any play any of our spells. It's gonna be a tough one. Ah, Santa Boot giving out that gifted sub over there to Storm. What know you of dragons? Behold! Thanks, Santa Boot. That's more like it. Dragons. Storm's 
start going wide. Gain some life, have the sheltering light. Also. I'm gonna go wide next turn, try to unbreakable formation, be able to attack in. Maybe kill a few different planeswalkers here, maybe, or something like that. Trust Who knows? Me, I have a plan. And Judge Fudge with that tier three sub. Welcome back. My creations are things of beauty. Judge Fudge, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Look to the skies. Really hope they don't have any anything in their hand that they can cast whatsoever with the Sahili out. Really hope they just they don't have anything they can cast, honestly. That's that's honestly our only hope is that they they have nothing they can cast. And that's game. I can't take down the Sarkin anymore. All right, we got all these spy glasses in our sideboard, so let's give them a try. And uh, I don't think I want Shalai. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we need Shalai. Yeah, Sarkin is pretty incredible. All these Vivians. We want these things. With Little Teferi, we can't play our creatures instant speed anyway. Because it could give us a little bit of card advantage. I think I want all these spy glasses in, and I don't want Song of Freilies. And not sure after that. I'm going to take out one arc bow. We have... Um, I guess I'm taking out a pouncing lynx. And a sheltering light. I really don't want to go to like less creatures than what we have as you can tell I only I only ended up cutting one creature but we don't our deck doesn't have that many creatures to begin with with the 23 so I didn't want to go any lower all right let's draw green source So you should not do what your what the opponent just did. Our opponent just played this Mox Amber here. That's not a card you just play on turn one at all. Especially when you have a card like Sahili in your deck. I think that this is not doing anything right now. They could draw a Sahili, be able to play Sahili, and then play that. So the the Leonin would, you know, give us a cheap spell and help start putting counters on Pride Mate, but I just want I want another a better threat. Considering Unbreakable Formation, this could really hurt us if they have Deafening Clarion, but if they have Deafening Clarion, we're probably just not winning. 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can survive a turn here. So this deck is definitely not tuned for control, which was one of your fears. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Yeah, there's just not, there's not a whole lot here we go. that a deck like this can do to beat dedicate control deck, honestly. We do have a, like just a, a ton of creatures that just get swept up in sweepers. There's just not. It's only a matter of. A control decks are really good. There's just not a lot of cards in like a green white deck like this to to have against control. Like there are there are some things, but we you know we're we're going to be weak there just in general. But I think this kind of deck you could make it so it's really good against aggro. You know we could definitely shore up like mono red and even be better against mono red than than what it is already for example and yeah i did yager yeah i saw that at least the one from Like yesterday or so. I know my responsibility. No time for a break. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm going to try to unbreakable formation and kill Teferi. But they got their three mana now. Probably been waiting to use Spell Pierce. No. Now what? Yeah, there's some good good info in there, Yager. I don't I don't know what to do with that information. I don't know how to apply that information or what what to do with it. Let us begin. I don't I don't know what to purchase as far as a second. PC is concerned. All right, well, we're kind of doing it. Giving them the Clarion instead of the land that can cast the Clarion. Kind of feels like, the, like maybe they have like a good amount of red cards in hand that they are not able to cast right now. Hey, Aku. And as you can tell, I am not playing around Settle the Wreckage. I don't I don't think they're playing Settle. And if they are, well, GG we lose. Okay, 
So that's a game. Which is nice, we got one game. Our opponent was missing one of their colors, but so were we, and we're only a two-color deck, and we were missing one of our colors the whole time, too. <laughs> Wasn't the match, it was just, it was just a game. See if we can get this game also. We got red mana now this time. <laughs> yes, our opponent's deck is one is definitely a tier one deck. It's one of the best decks in the format. want to play the other Leon and Vanguard and have them clarry on the two of them away. Let's just get the arc bow in play. I guess not playing this though is bad against other little Teferi. Why? What? Why? Just why? No, I wouldn't just play Elder Spells in the main deck because of the Super Friends decks. I think it's still a sideboard card, and with the only the only reason to play Elder Spell main deck is if you're playing a bunch of creatures Let's or sorry, Planeswalkers yourself, where you can try to take advantage of the ultimate. Bugler? What? Why are you shocking a 1 1? We just can't. I'll protect you. Can't punish our opponent for that shock right there. That the 1 1 couldn't even like block a war boss anyway. Like we could have just hit like one of our 2 1s or, or 2 2s and there's no. No justice. boss going to kill us. Alright, so didn't defeat the final boss. Getting a little stuck on lands there. But just couldn't quite do it. Um, but still, 4-2 and two with Selesnya Cats is certainly a lot better than I was thinking that we're going to do, but we just kind of, you know, we just had some pretty good curves for the most part and opponents didn't and we were just winning games. Like we have some powerful cards in here with the, the Ajani's for sure. Venerate Luxodon is nice. Bugler was like surprisingly really good for us the whole time. Um, I think we only missed one time with Bugler, but we hit another Bugler multiple times and the two, three body with it and the Raptors, like the two, three vigilances were, were really good. Uh, for us. Um, no, I think sideboarding and war boss was a horrible idea. But it worked out for them. But no, I don't no, I don't think that was a good idea for them. Um, anyway, uh, <clears throat> so with the deck, things I didn't like. I didn't like Arc Bow at all in this deck. I don't like Fr Song of Freilies. I don't like either of those two cards at all. I, I think we need to just... I would just rather have more creatures... Um, or these Ajani's. I really like these Ajani's, and I like I like the War Leader. I like the Luxodon. Um, I'd rather have those kind of things. And then sideboard wise, we need we need Baffling Ends. Like we need Baffling Ends, and we need Knight of Autumns. Um, 
yeah, like those are those are like two big things that that this deck needs is Bafflegans and Knight of Autumns. Uh, that's probably like seven cards right there. Um, balding Eddie, I know. Am I pronouncing Bugler wrong? Or you keep on typing Bugler? Am I, t am I pronouncing that wrong or something? So we definitely need these cards. And I would, I would not really play... Um, see, I don't, I don't know if you, like... I don't even know if we want to go Spyglass too much, honestly. I, would, I definitely don't want to play the Arcbow, and I don't think I'd play these Vivians. I want to play all those harpooners. I just don't even know if, like, control decks are going to be really hard to beat. I don't, I don't know if you like try to defeat those too much. You probably don't don't need two Tristanis. Tristani's pretty expensive for how many lands are in this deck, and for what it does. Um, that could be like one Spyglass there. But just baffling and Night of Autumn is going to help out quite a bit here. All right, let me get the other playlist back on again. Oh, okay. My bad. Um, yeah, Knight could definitely be main to help out Pride Mate, yes. And also just fill the three-mana curve and be a good hit off a of Bugler. Yes, yeah, Knight of Autumn could just be main. They're good against basically everybody, even against control. Like you know, it's a it's a four three, and you know, control decks all play like search for cantas and everything like that. Yes, those those could be main. And then that gives you three more sideboard slots for something else. Is there is there any more ways to get like some more? I mean, so I, I think you do want more of these Ajani's to try to get more counters on stuff to to help out like the Huatli's Raptors and everything. Um. Yeah, Sway, go ahead. So maybe you get another. Another Knight of Autumn in here, another sp Harpooner, another Spyglass. There you go. That 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 looks that looks better there. Um, yeah, we should probably have Lyra Dawnbringer. Shalai was just awesome for us. I mean, Shalai could just be main deck also, honestly. You could have Shalai main also. Um, Shalai was just really, really good for us. But there we go. That's the Lesnia Cats. Yeah. I already like liking how that looks more. All right. Well, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, but that's it for Selesnia Cats, our first donation deck of the day. Um, please hit that like button and subscribe button over there uh, if you don't mind. I would appreciate that. But again, yep. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I will see you for the next video.